Hello there, YouTube. As I uh, mentioned in the last episode, I was uh, actually had a booked trip for Fontainebleau this nice winter, um, but unfortunately we had to cancel it due to, well, COVID. <laughs> um, and so, well, and so I started reminiscing a little bit, I guess. I was looking through a bunch of the old footage, looking through the big island and everything, and I noticed that I actually have a lot of footage from just good sessions that we had there that never actually became episodes because they were a little bit shorter and just, uh, yeah, just a little bit of content. So I started piecing it together this morning and noticed that, well, we have some, I have some fun stuff to show you guys. So I'm taking a short break right now, going for a bit of a walk, and then we're gonna check out some of those boulders we were climbing on earlier. And the first thing that we're gonna start off on is, well, <laughs> it's actually the sit start to one of the longest 7C projects I've had, which I had in the first vlog from two years back. Or is it three years? No, it's two years when I tried the Big Island the first time. So on that one, I have Eclipse, which is a 7C stand that took me like nine sessions to get together. <laughs> and then I wanted to just, uh, the day after I tried the Big Island last year, I just wanted to go back and try and execute the sit start to it because I knew that I was a fair bit stronger. And uh, well, this is the story from that session. Time to crush it. What I happened to like, I was literally two centimeters from the jug. Started slipping off the right hand slope. I was just like, okay, let's just go. Oh man. That was close, right? Really close. Fuck. Alright, next go. Ali, 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 Ali. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, so it feels really good. I just realized what I have to do for the top is to just keep my right foot straight down and not flag it under the rock, which I've tried before. So just keep, keep it straight down and just blast for the finishing jug. And then it's, it's okay. It's not easy, but it's okay. <laughs> Nu så. Emil, nu gör du den! Oh. Skin is completely shredded on the right hand. So the sloper is like... Do you want to show us our hand? 
show you show us your hand yeah sure Let's see if it's i don't know if you can zoom in well enough but yeah yeah so it's just slipping and slipping and slipping which makes the top so hard but i'll give it one or two more burns when i'm when i rest it up yeah. a little bit and see if it goes because this is the third goal that you basically fall off the the end hole. Next go. Next go. Best go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> Sorry, man. Come here, Emil. Come here, come here, come here. I'll go on a little walk for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes or something. And then come back and give it like a, a proper final burn. It doesn't go, it doesn't go. And if it goes, it goes. I want to give like a nice little ending to this, but this isn't a nice little ending. This is me getting crushed by something that I personally feel I should be able to do. So I'm just going to leave you with a, just, I guess like, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So yeah, I, I know it got a little bit dramatic there at the end, but honestly, um, it's kind of who I am as a climber. I'm sure you've noticed in the past that I get quite excited when things go well. Yes! Oh my <laughs> um, God! And the downside to it is that I can get less excited when things don't go so well. And I get that little stare, stare of failure that I had in the video. Um, all in all, I'm happy about that sort of way of looking at climbing because essentially it's just that I care a lot and I, I, uh, when things go well, I get really, really happy. And when things don't, I don't get less happy. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed that first little story because we're going to move on over to the next one now. And the second part is from, from when Cordelia tried um, a boulder called Magic Bus, a 7B plus in a like pretty steep roof with sustainable and hard undercling moves. Uh, this was her first hard boulder that she tried in Fontainebleau. Um, definitely not a freebie, it took me quite a while to get it um, when I tried it a couple of years back. And these two, two attempts right here are unfortunately only, the only two that I have of the boulder uh, and her session on it. And this second one, second attempt, is from one of those attempts that, you know, you, you kind of shouldn't do, but you do anyways. Uh, her last attempt of the day, and she was just completely exhausted from trying to figure out all the moves. And, uh, well, then this happens. Come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in. Yeah, come in. Yeah, come in. Yeah, come in. 
Kom igen, Corella. Du är så nära. Kom igen. Ja, kom igen. Ja! Oh! Ja, kom igen. Kom igen, Corella. Hela vägen upp. Upp med en häl och rulla upp sen. Ja, bara upp med blocket. Bara upp med knät på, liksom. Rulla om nio. Fuck! Är det... Och där, rulla, 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 rulla. Ja! Ja! Wow! Ah, kul! Sick, alltså. <laughs> and yeah, just that kind of end part is. I, I just wanted to show it to you guys because it, it it means a lot to me those type of days, and uh, yeah, it's just nice to share those things with the uh, with other people. And I hope you can enjoy it at least a fraction of the way I do it. But yeah, I think we're gonna move on over to a slightly bigger story now which is Cordelia on her first proper project in Fontainebleau, which is from a boulder called Cochinelle, a 7C plus traverse with just a ton of moves. Yo. Can you talk to me? Yeah. Yeah, for real, one more time. Okay, you ask me questions and I answer. So we're on your project, right? Yeah. How do you feel about the project? Good. Okay, so um, I tried it two days ago and it was after a climbing day out. So I came here and like, oh, why not? I'll just give it a try. It's impossible because it's way over my grade. And then I managed to do all the moves, which is great. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I'm kind of figuring out the moves again now, almost from start. One. And then... Two, then I put up my feet. Three, four, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 moves. And that's a lot. It's like a lead climb, but it's around the rock. Snyggt, Cody. Smantla upp. Kan någon lägga hit en borste? You've done all the moves? Nope. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't done the middle moves, which are not not difficult at all, but I have to remember there's a lot of like small moves that I have to do, uh, and I have to try them again to see that I actually do remember them. But I did the top out, but yeah, I guess it's going good. Yeah, it looks uh, really good. That makes me happy. You've, you've done the crux. I've done the crux. I've got a lot of pieces to link together though, like a lot. Yeah. Nice. Nice, come in. Sick. Sick! Now all the moves are done. There's so much to brush. Oh, it's an infinite job. Miss it. Looking good. Disappointed. So that was the end of her second day on the on Cucina. And it didn't go quite as well as she wanted it to, but at least she knew the moves were doable and she knew she kind of could do the boulder if she just put the right effort in and had the right day. So yeah, let's check out the day number three, her final day on Cucina. Okay, so two days ago, or no, 
a week ago. You uh, you had a session on this one that went not so well, right? No, that went super well. Oh wait, which one are you talking about? Second the, session. The one you j filmed. Yeah. Yeah, no, that didn't go well. Uh, I just didn't have the mental mode, the right mode on, I think. Uh, and how do you feel now? No fun. Now I feel super well. This morning I woke up and my warming up consi consisted <laughs> of dancing to my favorite music. And then we came here and uh, I don't know if it was on my first try or like second or third try of warming up. Uh, I was super happy and everything felt right. <laughs> and I fell down and just started screaming as crazy because I fell on my wrist. Uh, but then I kind of... I realized I could still move it and it's just, it's okay now, it's okay. Now I actually climbed it all until the <laughs> last move. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do it again. It's all the way up, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right, so in Swedish we say snip, snap, snoot, so a saga and slut, which uh, means that the story has now ended. And uh, I know she got very close, but I also have about 13 more clips of her falling around the same spot, uh, which was really unfortunate given that, you know, first off the foot, it was insane that she could just keep on going. And then second off, the fact that you kind of can't get any closer than that. Which means that this project is properly etched into her mind right now. And it's kind of like every time she sees it for verse, she just wanders off with her mind like... Which is of course admirable. Like it's nice when people have that kind of project in mind, in my opinion. I really like that anyways. But yeah, I guess that's the, the end of this episode. And if you liked it, feel free to, well, don't be afraid to drop a comment or maybe even a thumbs up. That always helps the videos grow, which is nice. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, folks.